Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. There are several centers of hope all across Canada. These provides short-term outpatient treatment. Services include individual family and group counseling for those with alcohol, other drug, gambling and sex concerns, and provides living accommodations for male pearly clients after their release. The location in Calgary, Alberta, Canada provides safe accommodations for up to 329 homeless men. Men share accommodations in short-term emergency housing to a maximum of 30 days. After a short-term stay, men have the option of paying for a transitional long-term bed. These are all ran by the Salvation Army. Recently at this location the security manager and two guards were fired over excessive force in two separate incidents, and in one case unapproved restraints. Two other employees involved in the incidents on April 6th and 8th were also suspended and received verbal warnings. The Salvation Army has completed an investigation of two separate incidents that occurred on April 6th and April 8th, 2018 involving physical altercations between Salvation Army Protective Services security members and clients at the Calgary Center of Hope. The investigation has concluded that in both circumstances the Protective Services staff involved applied excessive force in an attempt to remove clients from the premises. The use of restraints by staff is strictly prohibited and staff will be reminded of the policy and all employees including the 12 full-time members of the security team will receive ray training on crisis intervention and de-escalation techniques. One was pushed outside the building, and the altercation escalated into a struggle between the guard and the client. The other client was grabbed and then restrained when he refused to leave the building. The mechanical handcuffs used by the guards were prohibited. Calgary police were called to both incidents and charges against the clients or security guards were not laid. One of the clients had been suspended from the center the day before the incident while the other was not a client, but had gained access to the building. A number of homeless clients that have used the Center of Hope location say security staff were constantly disrespectful to clients and abused their positions of power and authority all the time. The Salvation Army is extremely disappointed by these incidents which contradict to their core commitment to providing a welcoming and supportive environment centered around their clients' needs. Residents and clients at the Center of Hope who declined to be named said they have never experienced any rough handling by security staff, saying any time there is an incident police are called to assist. While the guards were licensed security professionals and legally allowed to own handcuffs, using restraints is not approved organizationally. As a result of these findings, the Salvation Army made the decision to terminate the employment of two protective services members who played a primary role in each of the altercations. The manager of protective services had also been dismissed to ensure the entire protective services team at the Calgary Center of Hope is operating in line with our organizational values. This isn't the first time the Salvation Army has been in the news and probably not the last time, the International Theological Council should get involved. The principal purpose of the International Theological Council, formerly International Doctrine Council is to serve the General and the Global Salvation Army by being faithful custodians of Army doctrinal positions. Whether those positions are to be found in the 11 Articles of Faith, in official Army publications, or informal statements approved by the General. The doctrines of the Salvation Army as set out in Schedule 1 of the Salvation Army Act 1980 believes highly in the God Almighty and Lord Jesus Christ as well as the Old and New Testaments. So they should be ensuring that the staff follow these in their proceedings as well. We are anonymous. 
We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.